What is up, Storm fans? I'm excited to be here because we are playing Twiddle Storm tonight, a deck that is uh, pretty sweet in my opinion. It is the cousin of Gift Storm and Modern, and the fact that they are both Storm decks that play Grape Shot, my favorite card, and uh, Past and Flames. After that, they're really not that similar. In fact, I think that this deck has more in common with the Pauper deck that I've been playing the last few days, and you can check out those videos, or even Pioneer combo, than it actually does with Blue Red Gift Storm. Gift Storm plays enablers like Brawl or Goblin Electromancer, Gifts and Given, uh, and Rituals. This deck doesn't play a single Ritual in it. Instead, we're looking to abuse Lotus Field, along with effects like Twiddle, Psychic Puppetry, and Dream's Grip. So this deck really wants to find Lotus Field. So you play 12 Cantrips, uh, Serum Vision, Sleight of Hand, and Reach Through Mist, no opt. And then you run four, a card very near and dear to my heart, Wishclaw Talisman, the legacy staple. So that's what they actually want, like the reason I wanted to play this deck today, is that we get to play Wishclaw Talisman in Modern, and that just excites me. Like, I am really looking forward to this. So you run Wishclaw Talisman, they can get Lotus Field, but also, there's some tricks with them. When you have Twiddles, you can twiddle Wishclaw, use all those counters, and then give it to the opponent so that way they can't get any value out of it, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. Um, and this deck also uses the Arcane ability. So Reach Through Mist, Ideas Unbound, Peer Through uh, Depths. All these cards paired with Psychic Puppetry, they create twiddles, much like the uh, Pauper deck that I've been playing the last few days. I've said that already, but I just want to draw that correlation one more time. So we're really abusing Arcane. And then, and the, the red cards in the deck. Uh, Past in Flames obviously works great with all these cards as well. Um, you know, our deck's full of instants and sorceries. Past in Flames makes a lot of sense. But there's also a single Underworld Breach. The first time I tried this deck, it didn't play Breach, and now it does. I am really, really looking forward to seeing how Breach improves it. Uh, because of that, I'm actually running an Oracle on the board to beat Infinite Life out of Heliod Combo. Uh, and a big part of that is Breach, in my opinion. Being able to keep on casting Ideas and Mound until you draw your entire deck. Because you never run out of Ideas and Mound. You always have it. And that's really interesting to me. And then obviously the Wind Condition Grape Shot. So the one thing that I'm less excited about this deck is that you do play 20 lands. Uh, to me, that feels like a lot. But you do need lands to sacrifice to Lotus Field. So uh, there's some sacrifices that have to be made. I wish you didn't have to play that many, but I think it's necessary. You could try playing um, Slendy Vision somewhere, but I don't think Slendy Vision is actually that good in this deck. Um, maybe we could try 19 and 1 Slendy Vision, but I'm not super interested in that if I'm being honest. It's just because like the only powerful card in this deck is Ideas and Bound, and then like your three effects. And if you already have one of these, you just want to find more Ideas and Bound. So... I don't really want to play Slendy Vision. In the board, you have your Fluster Storms. These work wonderfully with Wishclaw Talisman. You can use those much like uh, we do with uh, Veil of Summer in, Le uh, in Legacy, where your opponent tries to counter something, you activate Wishclaw, you Fluster. It's beautiful. Uh, Echoing Truth, you know, we have one main, one board. These are to bounce Damping Spheres mostly, uh, but also generic catch-alls. This deck does have a tougher time beating Thalia's than normal Gift Storm, just because you don't have a uh, cost uh, reducer. So there's no brawl to naturally counter the Thalia. You kind of just have to remove it. Uh, the Oracle we talked about beats Infinite Life. Mystical Dispute for, is for control decks. Um, Dismember, I just think it's great right now. You'll see my last video that I uploaded a few days ago with Mitch. Had two of them in there. Here we have one Dismember. Um... I guess I could run more, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try the two bolts today, and then Aria Flame is much better in this list, much 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 better in this list than uh, Gift Storm because your deck is mostly um, instants and sorceries. Aria also lets you beat uh, Blood Moon effects, so if you're, for some reason your Lotus only caps for one, Aria will help you win uh, that way on top of beating Graveyard Hate, and then. Damping Sphere has been everywhere recently. Having three copies of those just makes a lot of sense to me. So, if you want to show your support for this video, please, please, please subscribe. 
We're about 150 people away from that magical 3,000 subscriber goal that we're trying to hit this month. I would greatly appreciate your sort, uh, your can't talk support, but also please like and subscribe. Uh, what am I doing? I can't talk. Comment and like. That's what I'm trying to say here. Um, yeah. And also, always, there's donation decks, but I've done that spiel in a bunch of videos recently. So instead of stumbling on my words, uh, I'm going to grab a drink and then start round number one. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, round number one. We are on the play and we are facing Kronos Red. Kronos is the god of storms. And uh, I don't know if the red is supposed to trick you, but our opponent is mostly known for playing Lotus Breach in... Um, Popper, or not Popper, Pioneer, I'm sorry. Uh, they're both P formats. I've already said I can't talk tonight. Please forgive me. Here we've opened up uh, a stellar hand. We have Lotus already. We have Ideas. We have Puppetry. And we have Underworld Breach. To me, this is a snap keep. We even have Echoing Truth for a permanent hate card. Just in case her opponent has one. This hand's just truly terrific. All right, Serum Visions. It could be the mirror. It could be something else. I'm not sure. Two on the top. So here I'm going to fetch a Watery Grave because if I draw uh, Wishclaw Talisman, I want to be able to cast it. Visions. Okay. That was a good draw. Um... We're just going to pass. All right, and it looks like it is the mirror. We're just going to bounce that Brawl. And by mirror, I mean Gift Storm, not actual Twiddle Storm. Opponent is playing Brawl. And they're leaving up Remand if they have it. So we're going to attempt Displace here. And unfortunately, we're probably dead. If we had, if maybe if I had bottomed the sleight of hand and we had drawn a twiddle, I would have been able to win the turn that our opponent was tapped out instead of just bouncing the brawl. Alright, and they have the win here. I'm not going to make them go through it. Alright, so bolts and fluster seem fine. We can get rid of uh, that echoing truth wherever it was. We have 63. We can probably afford, honestly, to take out the grape shot. We can just bolt our opponent out. And bolt doubles is easy removal. Maybe I should leave it. Maybe just to like board out the twiddles like that. I don't know if that's right. Hmm. This deck is pretty difficult to board with. I just wonder if I'm not supposed to board out the bolts or like bring in the bolts. Maybe I just bring in the flusters. Uh, 
Let's try this out. Not super confident in that uh, board strategy. It's just like every card is so crucial, I'm not sure what you're actually supposed to skim for bolts. Mm. Answer is too slow. Um, I mean, we just have to find Lotus. It could keep the pier there, but it doesn't find Lotus, which is the only thing I want to do. So I'd rather just draw a random card that could be a cantrip. Or a wish called Talisman that then gets Lotus. All right, not ideal. I wonder if like I'm supposed to just ideas there. Like, how crazy is that to just, like, cast ideas? I should have done this last turn, I think. We didn't find it, so we're probably just dead here. Alright, so opponent's gonna get us. No? Do they actually miss? It looks like it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to play a land there in case I actually drew into the Lotus. Um, but I'll take the Fluster. We can try to win on our turn. I just don't know how much I, I like that. So they're holding a Bramand. We can maybe go for it here. Another Lotus. Uh, so it's going to be tough, but I think maybe we should just do it. Because I don't think we're going to get to live to see another turn. Okay, so Dream's Grip brings us up to five. Puppetry, six. We need one more mana to flashback past in flames. Um, could play Claw, but that doesn't really do anything here. So five, six. Yeah. Unfortunately, if one of those passing things was in my hand. So I think I'm supposed to try to cast visions here. Um, there's probably not a line for Underworld Breach. So I could add three blue. Dream's Grip. Go down to two blue. Play Activate Claw. 
Breach is also one mana short, so I just have to hit out this Visions. Alright, so we're going to bottom. So I can go up to four or five. The, the, we just can't do anything. And now we have to discard um, due to ideas. Not feeling too good about this one. I, I mean, I also misplayed a little bit. Like, we could have had the Lotus Field and play one turn earlier, um, but I just wasn't thinking. And that'll do. All right, so we're starting this uh, league off zero and one, but uh, I'm confident that we'll get the kinks out of this and uh, we'll finish strong. All right, we're back, and I think we're going to get this one. I'm feeling good about it. Uh, we have an average hand here. We're going to try this out and just, you know, sort of hope for the best. My opponent is mulliganing. All right, probably Merfolk if I had, I guess. Could be spirits. They're just passing. Ain't no laws if you've got claws, right? That's the expression. Wish claw talisman. The monkey's paw. All right, well, it's neither deck that I mentioned. It's some sort of Bant Vile deck. Or it's humans. <laughs> All right. Humans with an island. That's strange. I think the right take here is probably Wishclaw Talisman. Interesting. Okay. 
That was a great draw. Next turn, we can attempt to win. One of these claws is going to get Lotus, and the other one's getting an action spell. Then we can twiddle uh, the Lotus getting an action spell to get two. Alright, so our opponent's uh, trying to kill us pretty quickly. This is 8 damage as of right now, 12 damage, plus 1 off Lieutenant, so 13. And I'm just going to have 6 through the rest of the turn. It's not lethal. If it was, I could twiddle a creature to stay alive, but we don't need to do that. Another good draw. All right. So the first one of these should go get Lotus. All right. So now we can twiddle to untap. Alright, so I think now we hold priority. Alright, so we get to go get two things. Um, I think we're supposed to go get ide ideas for the first one, and then you have a choice. Uh, I think it should be Underworld Breach, because assuming that we draw at least one Twiddle off of the ideas inbound, uh, we can just, like, go insane. So I think that's probably the line. Just get Breach. And uh, hope that we draw a mana here. Also, a, uh, a reach through mist would do it as well. Okay, I'll take drawing another ideas. Um, so the peer can find a twiddle. And the Dreams Grip should do it. So we're going to add blue. And now we add red. So this should be pretty easy now. Um, first we should start on twiddling this just to make more blue we'll remove three lands Reach through Miss Ask Axe is a twiddle here. All right, 
right, so then we can peer looking for group shot. And there it is. All right, so Storm's 13. We just need to generate some mana now. Or generate some Storm, I mean. Sweet. Add three blue on tap. And then, for good measure, we'll do one extra. Why not? Boom! Take that, humans. There we go. Hit, hit five instead of six. All right. We took game one over humans. That was fun. Underworld Breach doing its thing. Probably want the bolts. Smurver is not a bad idea. I don't know how heavy we want to, like, board in all of these, uh, like, answers. We can probably shave one past in flames. That seems pretty reasonable. You can probably get rid of one puppetry because you only need one really to win. Multiples of it aren't very good. Uh, and then we still have three slots. This isn't going to be a very popular decision here. But uh, I think you can probably board out some cantrips and not reach through mist because those allow you to win better. So it's either Serum Visions or Sleight of Hand. Visions is better at setting up. Sleight is better on the combo turn. Um... I'm just going to do a couple of each and try this out. Wow. This is certainly a hand. Always with the vials. Yeah, as I've mentioned, it's harder to answer Thalia with this list. I probably should have gotten uh, events there. That was actually a mistake in case I drew Bolt right here. I didn't, so it didn't end up biting me. But it's still the um, correct play to fetch for uh, events there. Because I can get Watery Grave with this one. So Thalia is crashing in for three damage. Sure. <laughs> 
All right, so because I drew the slight, I had a decision to make this turn. It was either play land three in a wish claw or play lotus field. Now I can dig for an answer with the slide of hand, play field, and pass. Oh, well, we want the puppetry, so that's fine. Um, would have preferred an answer to Thalia, but that's still acceptable. So the plan on our next turn, assuming we don't draw an answer for Thalia, is just Wish Claw go. And then try to win on that next turn. And here we're actually taking a bunch of damage, which is kind of scary. So we're taking seven. Um, if they have another haste damage next turn, we're dead. Okay, so we drew the answer. I could try to win right now. Uh, three to kill that, we twiddle. I think I'm in. All right. That was good. I see myself winning more with uh, the Underworld Breach than I do the Past in Flames, but maybe I'm wrong. Like, this is the first time I've played this deck in like six months. It just seems like the Breach is a lot more powerful than the Past in Flames nowadays. Um, what's Peer? It's fr literally free to do. Echoing Truth. I mean, I could Grape Shot, but I just... I'm just going to take the beer. So I think it's interesting to think about this for a second. So we have two twiddles. If I go get one more, or if I get if I take this one, I think we can use Claw to go get Past in Flames uh, or Breach and then just win. I think the right play is taking a twiddle. Um, one sec. Might diversify our colors a little bit. All right, so here I can play Claw, activate using a black. Uh, Past in Flames will leave me with two mana floating. Yeah, I think Past in Flames is slightly better here, just because it dodges, uh, if for some reason they had like a disenchant in hand. Um. Uh. 
there's another twiddle in there. We can use that. I like that you can splice from the graveyard. Like, that feels like cheating. <laughs> and I know that we can kill our opponent right now, but why not draw more cards? I mean, we're already here. Um, what if for some reason they have some sort of crazy life gain card in hand, right? Alright, I'm just going to go for it. Was Twiddle Storm good enough? Boom! 1-1! One, one. That was a pretty sweet match. Welcome to round number three. We're facing Hodor Time Baby. We're on the draw. We've opened up Lotus, but no other lands, which means that this is a mulligan. Okay, um, so we do have to find Lotus, but I'm going to keep this. I really don't want to go down to five. Uh, prowess. Okay. Probably didn't want to keep a slow hand in this matchup. Yikes. Okay. In theory, no, we probably don't want to go for it next turn. They have two cards in hand. If we drew a Psychic Puppetry, maybe we could go for it. Alright, I'm going to be a coward. I'm not going for it. If we do, it's like super unlikely that we win. So I'm just going to play this and pass. Might as well appear, I suppose. Please let me untap. We need our opponent to have all creatures and lands. That's a start. It's not what we want to see. Taking six damage. Come on, nothing else. Okay. Yes. I'll be honest. I didn't think there was a chance we were going to win this game, and now we're in it. Straight on this uh, reach through mists. I'm just going to go get a land out of her deck uh, because it's also another card for Underworld Breach.
Love the ideas uh, find there. Okay. Um, what now? That could have been better. This makes a single mana. Storm is at 11. from 14. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing everything that I should be. So technically it's better divisions first there, uh, but I'll be honest, it doesn't matter. Because that way you get to stack your draw for the reach. We're just looking for grape shot at this point. I'm always happy to cast more ideas inbound. Woot woot. <laughs> this deck's really fun to play. All right, so we're facing Blitz. Uh, I definitely want these Bolts. I don't think I need the Abrades. They also feel like they may be a little bit too slow. Um, could bring in Flusters as well. Probably take out one Piff. That seems fine. The Echoing Truth. And maybe one of each cantrip. And I say that because we can't really afford to take out Twiddles in a matchup where we need to be quick. So that's my game plan. I'm going to hit Submit here. And friendly reminder, we have three different tiers for you to choose from with the Epic Swarm donation decks. Make sure to fill those out. Uh, in the third tier, you can even join me here on this YouTube channel to showcase your deck. So once again, you can sign up at theepicsworm.com slash donation decks. You will need a deck file to submit. Please remember to do that. Once again, we are taking a mulligan. Our opponent also mulliganed. We're in the same spot where we just need to find a lotus. Let's 
So it's either Grape Shot or Land 3. I think it's Grape Shot. Because if our opponent boarded in Surgical and I waste it like trying to kill a Sprite Dragon, we just lose. So I'd rather just take the land and accept any lumps that we take. Lotus. Okay, I'll take a claw. Log or the claw does deal us three damage next turn because we have to fetch up watery grave. Taking three here. That was actually a surprisingly decent draw because it makes a mana once we get our Lotus in play. So our best draw is obviously Lotus. Uh, that would actually put us over the top. Breach would also be a good draw. I'd also take a Twiddle. I won't lie. I was just looking at my opponent's life total. And I was like, how did they get to 18? There's no fetch lands. I don't see any probes. Not that they're legal. No Phyrexian stuff, and then it dawned on me that Steam Melts dealt them too, which is a thing that happens in Modern. Please forgive me. Opponent pretty deep in the tank here. Trying to see if they can come up with 14 damage. I mean, Lava Dart might be able to do it. That represents five damage. That's six. Okay. I'm at three, and if their last card is like a Dispel or a Pierce, I'm in trouble. Another Puppetry. Interesting, they f 6 Ooh. I think I'm going to keep both. These are very good. Um, so the question is, can I actually use them? Um, and I think the answer might be no. So let's talk this through. Let's say I take Past in Flames right here. I can... Maybe I should have thought this through on the scry. Um, 
puppetry on tap that makes four puppetry that makes five and then I have a twiddle that actually might do it Okay. This room's 12, I need to get six more. Let's try it on slight. Lands we don't want. Well, I guess puppetries are pretty free. Like, they just make a mana, so I might as well cast them. And, uh, we got there. Pretty cool how this deck is beating decks that I think are pretty difficult, uh, normally. And I should... Make sure that I don't tap my red source. These are both great. All right, two one over. Is it Blitz with Twiddle Storm in a turn three? At that, pretty sweet. Okay, we're 2 and one I'm feeling pretty confident right now. We've opened up a hand that has Lotus and a bunch of good cards. We just need to draw a third land that isn't a Lotus Field. I think I'm going to try this. If we're punished, we're punished. But I think that you're supposed to keep these hands. Okay, this could be Heliod combo. In which it's very difficult for us to win. Alright, it looks like it's Elves. And I'm just going to burn... Actually, it's better to not F6 through our turn. Make them think that we could have a removal spell or something. But we need to draw land uh, off this reach through miss for sure. Was it the land? It was not. All right, we have not a lot of time, but if we hit it on this next draw, we could probably win on turn three. Yes. Feeling very good right now. I don't think elves can kill us from here, but you never really know. Interesting. They're just getting in there.
One nice thing about Twiddlestorm, by the way, it does not care about Veil of Summer at all. <laughs> Unlike Gift Storm. There's an uh, Azuri. You're going to be Azuri that you played that deck. It was supposed to be like a bad pun on sorry. It did not work. Uh, Piff was a pretty bad draw here. And that should be game. Double twiddle is terrific. Keep that on top. All right, we're just building up storm count at this point. Add some red. Plenty of mana. We just need to find uh, the grape shot. So now we reach through mist again. This is like, I, it might seem boring, but like, this is a blast. Might as well. This gets tendrils, so we're going to cast that. Or not tendrils, <laughs> grape shot. Add three black. Whoop. This deck is definitely more competitive than I thought it was. Like, this seems fine to me. Honestly, like, this could end up being better. Um, I mean, you're not weak to creature removal. You're not weak to Veil of Summer. I might have to get some Japanese foil twiddles. All right. You have Japanese foil twiddles or Japanese foil uh, dreams grips. Hit me up. Actually, I don't own the arcane cards either. I need almost this entire deck. So if you have a Japanese foil, let me know. Um, but on a more serious note, let's uh, board for elves. I think we want to braid. If I have to guess, elves definitely seems like a deck that probably has some uh, damping spheres in the board. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, 
All right, let's look up some elves. Let's. There it is, elves. Spheres, I knew it. All right. Dirty spheres players. Board out of past in flames. And then I think we probably just board out uh, one puppetry. Let's skip my cantrips again. I brought out one too many visions. There we go. Boom. And if you want to support this content, the slash shop. Highly recommend a pint glass. They're actually etched. I'm thirsty, so I'm going to grab a drink right now, and I recommend you do the same out of an Epic Swarm pint glass. Game two on the draw. We don't have a Lotus, but we do have a Wishclaw Talisman uh, and an answer for Sphere. We're going to keep this. This is definitely not a matchup where I think you want Aria. Aria is a little bit slower. We just want to stay nice and lean. Heritage Druid is a strong start. I am going to just burn the uh, the reach through mists. So this is nice because this is going to give them triple green for the druid. Wow, was not expecting that. We do have triple a braid and an echoing truth in the deck. And here, I think I'm just going to be lazy and I'm just going to fetch my land and pass. Are they attacking? I would love to see that. Not advancing the board. Bummer. I'm just looking to uh, abrade the thorn here. Although we might be dying pretty quickly. So right now we'd be taking 9, next turn 11. So that's lethal. Did I miscount? Oh, because they didn't attack with uh, with Archdruid. Heroic Intervention. Sure. That's a little odd, but I get it. So... 5, 11. That's not lethal. That said, I can't play and use the Claw this turn. Or play the claw this turn or else I'm dead. Uh, I just messed up again. I wasn't supposed to play that in case I can't trip into Lotus. <sighs> so dumb. Whew. 
Heroic Intervention, that's interesting. Alright, so now we go to one and our fetch lines are shut off. I just don't think we have an out. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Game three. All right, so I'm gonna board in the truth. Shave another cantrip. Mm. No, I want the bolts. Don't judge me for boarding out cantrips. I think it's fine. Yeah, this hand seems great. I think I just want to fetch her Siemens tapped. I'm not sure if I want to burn this reach through mist right out of the gate. It's unfortunate that I have to choose here between Wishclaw Talisman or holding up a braid. And then again, like Badlands probably isn't a card I want in my deck. And I think I'm just going to go get Wishclaw, or I'm going to make it, uh, get Water Gear so I can cast Wishclaw, cast things on Curve. So let's see what our opponent has. I think the plan right now next turn is play another claw, play field pass. All right, so they probably have the infinite mana combo in their uh, dock. Red source? Hmm. So I could try to kill this right now. which is probably the play. I don't like this pause. Okay. I was really worried about Force of Vigor right there. I'm trying to, like, in my mind right now, I'm wondering what the right play is next turn. It probably depends on our draw step, but for this Underworld Breach... Because we don't have a whole lot to uh, escape back, which is kind of a concern. We don't have a puppetry. We don't have an ideas.
I think our opponent probably kept their hand because they had to turn three if we didn't kill their devoted druid. Likely with the vizier combo, but I could be wrong there. Double Druid. Alright, so we're going to fall to 14. Next turn they have 12. Assuming they don't have another uh, Lord effect. Hmm. So I just want to think through this. I could Wish Claw for Puppetry. Going down to 2 mana. Play Reach Through Mists. Uh, and then untap it. And then play Underworld Breach, escape the grip, untap this, use Claw for Ideas Unbound, but I think that leaves me a mana short. But I would get to grip again because the reach through mist would go to the graveyard. So maybe this works. Let's learn together. Watch me punt. So we want a psychic puppetry. That was a good one. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's get that ideas inbound. Rough. Um, but we should use a fetch here just because it's another card for escape. And this is why Underworld Breach is busted in this deck, because you can just keep on casting Ideas Inbound. Okay. I like that. Splice. Might as well take the thing that makes mana, I suppose. I feel like that's probably the bottleneck right now.
Do 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 do. I feel like we're bound to draw it because we've cast like three ideas and bound in or three uh reach three peer through depths, there we go, and haven't hit the grape shot yet, so this is likely going to draw it. Um I guess it could be the very next card. That is technically a thing that it could be. Where are you, Grabshot? There you are. So we will be advancing to three and one with modern twiddle storm. This seems powerful to me in the fact that you don't need creatures so you're not weak to creature hate. It just seems really nice. I might have to play with this deck some more. All right, and now it's official three and one with round number five coming right up. Okay, the fifth and final match. We're playing Twiddle Storm. This has been a delight. Honestly, win or lose this game, I'm thrilled with this league. All right, but we're on the play and boom, this hand's great. We're keeping this. Honestly, I'm just going to fetch, and I'm going to shock. Uh, but I'm going to get the grave just because of Wishclaw. I think that might be one of my favorite things about this deck, is that this deck gets to abuse Wishclaw Talisman in this format. Alright, so I think they're supposed to take Puppetry here. Maybe Echoing Truth if they have a creature they're trying to deploy next turn. They made the correct decision in my opinion. And I think I'm just going to fire this off on their own step. Most likely. Depending on what they play here. So the reason that you fire this off is even though they're going to discard the ideas here, uh, you still have it in your bin for Past in Flames, which is the important thing. Wow, what a good draw. Right off the top rope. So you might be thinking, like, can't you go for it there? I don't think it's a wise move. Um, theoretically, you could try to string some stuff together, but... Okay. So they're on Jun, not Black Red. I thought they might have been on Shadow. Um, ugh, gross. So if they have a another discard spell here and hit the, uh, the Dream Script, we're in trouble. Um... So right now I can grip, past in flames, grip, and then um, have this untapped. We could ideas unbound, but not do a whole lot else. I'm going to pass. Really would have liked to untap there with the claw. Okay. 
Like, I think I'm just going to bounce this Goyf. Like, it's, it's a fine tempo move. We want the card in the graveyard anyway. All right, I'm going to make them think I didn't draw anything here, and then on their end step up here. Maybe we'll hit another Twiddle, and this will become easy. They very likely just have a bunch of removal in their hand, too. Hmm. Come on, Twiddle. Uh, that's a good one. So I don't really want to burn the puppetry. Um, so once again, I can twiddle up to five, play Past and Flames, Dreams Grip, and then I can Ideas with a puppetry in hand. Or I can just pass this turn and try to untap next turn with the Wish Claw. We also have a reach that makes a mana here. We have a peer. Like this might be able to do it. I'm just wondering like what's the I'm just gonna play Claw and Pass. Not because I don't think that we can win, but because I'm not sure what punishes punishes us here. Uh, outside of like a main deck scavenging ooze, I don't think anything a discard spell and dreams grip like sort of hurts uh but if they only have a discard spell and they didn't have an answer for wish claw right there i think we're fine it looks like if i had to guess they just have two creature removal spells in hand that was terrific Just drawing cards and making mana. It's what we do. They have two cards in hand, so I don't need to be afraid. I can just cast this past in flames. Uh, they took the fun away. Okay. So I think here I want to board out the uh, one of the past in flames. I definitely want this aria. And I think dismember's probably pretty good here. Another thing I could do is keep uh, that. What if we board out Wishclaw Talisman and we just make all of the. I guess we're boarding in arias. So, if that's the case, that's not true. If our plan is to win with Aria, we want other targets, so that way they they stay in for Aria. I'm sorry. I just gave you uh, bad info. Mm. Can probably shave one puppetry. Like, boarding in a braid is like a hedge for a damping sphere in case they have it. I think I could probably board out like one twiddle and then a few cantrips. And then, hmm. Well, we are boarding in Arias. Maybe brought out like one reach. Just because the card quality matters a little bit more in this matchup. Let's try this out. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like this is a trap hand. We should mulligan it. Okay. I'm going to bottom breach. Uh, just just in case, one, they have Leyline of the Void, and two, we don't really want this being discarded. Don't need Lotus, and we definitely don't need a total right now. We need land number two. Yeah. Fast clock. Ah. We failed to find our second land. All right, let's try it again. I think I actually want the vents here, but maybe that's wrong. Get out of here. So one of our better draws next turn would actually be a Twiddle. Because then we could play Aria and start cantripping. All in one turn. Another thing we can do next turn is let's say we just have like a, a normal average draw. I can play Lotus Field, floating two mana, reach through miss, untap the field, play Aria pass. Uh, not that I love that line, but it's something we can do. Okay, opponent is still thinking. All right, so they played the land that we knew about. All right, so they don't have Decay up, but I don't know how much that matters. So I can go to 9, they'll attack for 3 down to 6, they can ping me for 1. So if they have like Bolt K Command next turn I'm dead, or Bolt Bolt. Or I can just float mana and then not risk dying right now. And I think that's probably the correct play. What does this do? Um, so, I just want to talk this out. I can twiddle going up to two mana floating, play Aria. With Aria's ability on the stack, 
I can reach through mists, which untaps my lotus, and then I can peer. So we might actually be able to kill the opponent with the Aria trigger still on the stack. All right, so we're going to keep that there. Okay, so now we can cast Peer. Now we Peer again. I think an instant off this does it. Um, so my next spell will deal four, the one after that will deal five, so a braid is lethal. What a way to end the league. Boom! <laughs> Got the 4-1, only losing the combo mirror in round number one. This deck felt very strong. We had a few turn three kills. Uh, we didn't have to worry about creature removal. Uh, it seemed really good. Uh, I don't know if I'd change anything. I don't know if we need the Oracle, but then again, I haven't faced Heliod in either league. Uh, this deck was so much fun to play. Uh, it was really, really sweet. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you want to show your support, theapixroom.com. And don't forget about possibly summoning a donation deck. My queue is uh, empty right now, so I'd be happy to take on anything uh, combo related that you might want to donate. So uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day and uh, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.